All right, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Draws here with another Pokemon drawing tutorial. And for this video, guys, we're gonna be drawing Cup Chew. So, as you guys can see on screen, this is how he ends up looking like. So, if you guys want to learn how to draw him, then let's get started. All right, guys, so first of all, we're gonna start off by doing a circle for his head. And once again, just try to make it as perfect as you can. Once we have that, we're actually gonna split it in half both ways. Now that we have that, we're going to do his body and right here I'm just using my fingers because I noticed that the head is way bigger than the body. Once we have the body right there, we're actually going to extend this middle line from the circle going up because he doesn't have a perfect circle head, he actually has a pointy head. And then we just extend the, the sides of the circle right there to do the corners of his face. Uh, once we have that guys we're actually uh, I do a reference line right here on top of the circle just to let you guys know uh, that the ears don't go higher than that so it's just something that might help you guys out and then once again just try to even out the ears on both sides making them start around the same side alright there we go now once we have that we're actually gonna start off by doing the nose and if you guys notice the nose is a little bit more to the left of that middle line and then once we have that, we're going to start off by doing his uh, snot drop. I think that's what it's called. To be honest, I don't know what it is, guys. But uh, the, the snot. Uh, once we have that, we're going to start doing the snout. There we go. And uh, once we have that, guys, we could actually start by doing the eyes. So one of the things that I noticed is the eyes don't go lower than the actual nose so that's one of those reference lines that I do right there something that might help you guys out and it doesn't go higher than the snout so just try to make both of these the same size and shape uh, now that we have that he actually has two uh, glints or glares or highlights I guess that's the better word for it so we just do one at the top and one in the bottom now that we have that guys right here, what I ended up doing is just fixing the actual snout because I noticed that it's more of a house shape, like the sides uh, where it start, starts off, it's actually straight and then it kind of like goes into a point. Now that we have that guys, we're going to start by doing the shape right here for one of the arms. We're going to erase that just because it's not connected and uh, we're just going to do two lines for the actual fingers. Once we have that, we're going to do the circle right here for the bottom of his uh, foot. And then we're just going to extend this right here to the side. So it's better off just doing another circle around the first one, guys, and then uh, just connecting it the way that I did it right there. Now a circle for his tail and we're just going to extend one of his legs from the bottom right there. And uh, one of the things that I was I want to point out is that these two uh, bottom legs are the same size as the circles that we did. So uh, that's one of those things that you guys might want to pay attention to. And now we could do the other hand or the other arm and he's basically grabbing like his face. Uh, we can't really see the paw right there so we're not going to add any fingers right now and then the snot right there it just cuts off right there but I decided just to change it because it's just the color it's not an actual line and uh, once we have that guys we can start by erasing some of the lines that are not there so just pause the video once I erase most of them and then just try your best to uh, erase the lines that are not there uh, once we have this we got our final sketch guys now it's all about just changing the actual uh, drawing looking at it and just making any final changes to your lines fixing anything that doesn't look right uh, for example this ear first of all I did so many edges on it but then later on I actually end up by rounding them off so it's just a matter of making any small changes that you guys might need to make just to improve your drawing and uh, once we have that guys I did end up coloring as you guys can see here I used my Copics and then I went over it with some color pencils Alright, there we go guys. So this is how he ended up looking like. 
Overall, I'm happy with it. I basically used the light gray for the shadows of his body since his body is white. And then for the head, I used uh, two different blues, one for the face and then another one for the snout. And then in the end, I just went over it with some color pencils just to add a little bit more extra like shade to it. So uh, overall, I'm okay with it guys. The outline, I did it in black ink. So it just makes it stand out a little bit more. And overall, I'm happy with this. So let me know in the comment section guys how, how yours came out. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Draws.